Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. It is five o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna try not to be super loud. I am fighting off a cold, well, a cold. I have had COVID for the last two and a half weeks. It's getting better, but it's still there. So I will be sipping coffee just to keep me from coughing because I'm still coughing a lot and snotting a lot. It's really gross. Anyway, and you're all like, great, thanks for sharing. So I got a, I ordered it, um, I think probably two months ago, uh, advent calendar from L'Artisan. I can never say it properly. I will link it down below. I'll link her, Tammy, and her shop down below where you guys can go check it out. It is a Canadian company and I decided to do her 25 days um, advent calendar. So I will say I it's a lot of stuff, a lot of yarn. A lot of things um i'll show you the packaging so she wrapped everything which is lovely um she did write on them numbers but they're very hard to see maybe just for me they're hard to see so i'm just gonna open them and then i'm gonna show you what was in the advent calendar so you guys can decide for yourself if maybe next year it's something that you want to do so this I know is, it looks like day one. So I'm gonna open day one. It's, it's a hook obviously, but it's cool. I'm not complaining. I like hooks. <laughs> so this is getting the, the advent started. So I don't remember how much I paid for it. I honestly don't. I'm sure I could find the price for you guys, but who knows if that'll be the price for next year. Obviously it's too late to get it now. So, oh, it's a clover hook. It's a five millimeter clover hook. So those are really good hooks. So that is a great start to the, the advent. Um, so I'm just gonna randomly open them. I don't know, I think this says day seven. So I'm just gonna open them so you guys can see what it was. I was gonna initially open them every day and film it, but I just don't have the time. Um, I Between my kids doing extra activities and work, I don't have time. So I'm just gonna open them and show you what it is. So this is Premier Anti-Pilling and Everyday Worsted in the red color. So that's always good, that's nice. And now this one, some of them were like slightly opened and I'm figuring it's because, you know, she had to rush to get all the boxes done and stuff. And she still had, she was still taking orders I think up until last week, so. Cool. Oh, this is my favorite, favorite brand. So never a disappointment to get jeans yarn. So that'll go with my, I have quite a few in my stash. So that is classic. That'll go in my stash of jeans yarn. So, so far two good balls of yarn. Okay. Ooh, third one. Ooh, I haven't actually had Bloom Chunky. And it's self-striping, so Bloom Chunky. That is a nice, I actually might use this to make Jada and Stitch's um, stocking because she said she did one with some chunky yarn and some regular yarn, so I might do that. I might find like a color that looks good. So that's nice, I like that. This one says day three, it's sort of split. And again, no judgment, no nothing, I'm cool with it. Ooh, Premier Snow Cone Light Chenille. Oh, that's nice. I've never had that before. It's a nice polyester yarn, Snow Cone. So I've never had that brand either. And what I like about her is that she has um, Premier yarns for Canadians, so we don't have to pay a lot of money to get it. Okay. Ooh, some more Premier yarn. So Premier Serenity Chunky in a nice red color. So that's Oh, if you heard that beep, that is my oven because most mornings I am cooking dinner ahead of time. So I got two skeins of that because I work. So it's easier to do it that way. This is, like I said, I'm not even reading the days because I'm just opening it. But if you were to get it though, I will say like there are numbers on there, but they're challenging for me to read. So it is what it is. Anyway, what's this? Oh, I've never had this one either. 24 seven cotton by Lion Brand. A nice purple color. 
and I am doing 12 days with Debbie and Shell. I'm probably not going to film it this year. I just don't have time. Uh, I won't be opening it until probably mid-December. Um, just busy life. I will be opening it. And if you guys are seeing a blanket behind me, no, I did not make that. That was a gift from Shell that she gave me when I went up to visit her um, a little while ago. Just in case you're wondering, it's Shell's blanket, so you'd have to talk to Shell about it because I didn't make it. Um, oh, okay. Premier Parfait, chunky. Got that. So that is cool. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to use probably for amigurumis. Ooh, I've never seen this one. What is it? Oh, it's puzzle yarn. Oh, ooh, puzzle shimmer. I have not had that yarn yet. That is so pretty. Oh, that would make a lovely stocking. That is gorgeous. Ooh, I really want more of this now. <laughs> puzzle shimmer. Oh, I feel a couple more packages behind the back. Here we go. Oh, another one. Sweet. Another bloom, which I'm not disappointed because it's the same as the other one. So that means I have more of it to make a bigger project. So that is cool. Bloom chunky, never a bad thing. This one looks exactly like the last one I had. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, same color. I think. Yeah, rain. So two of the rain, so that's okay. Not angry. Oh, this one was kind of popped open-ish. So that was day eight. <laughs> and this is Bloom, Serenity Bloom. And what color is that? It's pretty. It's pretty. What is it? Gerbera? Gerbera? Anyway, very pretty. It's nice. 600 yards is pretty good. So we can do something with that. And there's one behind my back, so I'm going to use that one. This would be, like I said, if you were actually buying this and opening it every day, it would be a nice little, you know, morning. Ooh. What is this? Himalaya? Dolphin baby? Oh, nice. And it's in a nice mustard color, and I got two of those. Never even heard of that yarn, so that's cool. Yeah. Good. That's a good color. I can use that. Ooh, this one was already slightly open. It's more jeans yarn. And this one was in the color. Oh yeah, classic. So I got two of this, the classic. Oh, where are we at? There we are. And I believe this is the same as the first one I opened. Yeah. Premier Anti-Pilling, Everyday Worsted in the red. So not a bad thing to get double of stuff because you know, you need sometimes more to make a project. So here's another one, where are we at? Sorry for the crinkle. Don't want to rip any of the labels off, that's my problem. Ooh, okay, skin tones. So I didn't get any of that before, so I do, I like the color, skin tones. Got two of those. Skin tones is actually expensive. It's gone up at Michael's. It's actually gone quite quite expensive, actually. It's like $9.99 or something like that, or maybe even $11.99. Oh, looks like Burnett blanket. Yep, Burnett blanket yarn. And a purple color. In shadow purple so that's good it's always a good yarn and same one so this was day what 14 i don't know what that day was but so come on yeah so same color this one was split open but okay what's in there it is red heart with love oh i like that i love with with love it's actually a nice one 
And there's no, it says Oxford. I don't know if that's the color or not, but I got a ball of that. So that's always handy. And then, oh, I think it's the same one. Yeah, same one. So two balls of that. And then, so basically it's just you guys watching me open up a yarn. Two balls of red. And red, red heart soft. And it's just two colors of really red. So that's cool. And then, Did I need another advent calendar with yarn? Probably not, but I decided to give it a shot so I could see what it was like. And then another 24 seven cotton. I think I had that other one in the same color. And we're almost there, almost there. This one was also split open a bit, which is fine. No, no judgment, just saying split open. All right, so two skeins of what is it, Karen Soft, Karen Simply Soft, and Ombre. Oh, I like the Ombre though, I like the blue. So two in the blue Ombre. This is day 24, so I actually worked out that that's the last, second last one. And this is, ooh, cute, okay. So two Darning Needles by Boy and a another jumbo darning needle set with the case so those so that's cute and now day 25 and that's actually day 25 is three balls of okay I hope I can get it out. Sorry. Three balls of Burnett Baby Blanket in uh, Sail Away. So three balls of that was day 25. So, okay. It was good. It was good to open, you know, if you do the value of the yarn, all of the yarn in that box was definitely worth, I think, I can't remember what I paid. I don't wanna say that I paid a certain amount of money and I didn't, so I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, if you look at the value, so just like if you go to Michael's right now and you were to buy this, it's $7. The hook is what, seven, $8 from Michael's if you were to go out there. And then the darning needles are two, two three bucks, something like that. So right there, the hook that you're at almost, I'd say close to 20 bucks. All of these yarns, like they don't even sell these yarns at most stores. So anyway, but I mean like this stuff. So right there would say what, like a $12 value because, and I mean, or maybe not, maybe I'm overvaluing it, but anyway. So if you go to Michael's right now and you buy Karen or something similar to this, you're going to pay $7.99 per, and I got two. So that's 15 bucks. You know what I mean? So you just have to kind of look at the value of how much it would cost you if you were buying this stuff. Some people, so if you want high end yarns, this is not the box for you. If you like getting premier yarns and line brand yarns and you're here in Canada and your only places to get yarn is Walmart, things like that, then it's, a, you know, you're going to love this box. Um, the, actually the cost was also included, uh, shipping was included in the cost. So I know that it was a good deal because with all this yarn, if you add up the value, you're actually, she's kind of losing on it because she paid for the shipping as well, so, or the shipping was included rather. So I think it's a good box. I think it's great, especially for Canadians who want to get premier yarns. There's some yarns in there I've never tried. There's a lot of yarns that are premier yarns that if we wanted to get them, unless we found somewhere to shop for them, which that's why I order from Tammy. Um, you can't find them at Walmart. You can't find them at uh, Michael's. You can't find them at a local store. So she is great for that. She is 
really good on shipping. She doesn't charge you anything extra other than what's necessary for shipping. And it comes really fast. So I like Tammy. I like her shop. I think it was worth it. I mean, it's a lot of yarn that I, I know I probably did not need. I know we all know this. I have a lot of yarn. I didn't need this yarn. I wanted to see what it was like. I've always liked Advents. And, and that's why I did 12 days with Debbie and Shell because I love, I love opening things. I love it's just the surprise of it and it's always fun. So I enjoyed this. It was just done really quickly because I have to work. And if I didn't, I would have done it every day. I just don't have time to commit to it. Um, so yeah, that's the, the advent box from L'Artisan. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I don't know how to say it correctly, but anyway. That's her, her company. I will link it all down below. She's on TikTok. Uh, I'll, I'll link her shop down below so you guys can go check it out. Check her out. Um, I know she's done with the advent for the year, but maybe next year. Something to consider if you want to or if you have a yarn lover in your life and you want to get them that. Something to think about. Um, yeah, so that's it. I will let you guys go. I will try i don't i know i'm not going to film every day for debbie and them because it's going to be too hard for me i'm not going to have time so i don't know if i'm going to just show you guys at the end or if i'm going to not film it at all and just talk about it after i also have a whole bunch of finished objects and things i want i can show you guys i've been meaning to film but i just haven't had time so hopefully i'll be back eventually hopefully and if not i will try to make a video quickly in december some point um because my birthday is coming and i usually try to do a giveaway of some sort on my birthday so i'm hoping to do that so that's it i will see you guys soon have a great rest of your day and stay healthy and try to stay away from getting covid it's running rampant right now so just uh be careful take care of yourselves and have a great day